This event was launched at the beginning of this year in collaboration with 12 other schools who participated in the recently concluded A Division First 15 Schools Rugby season. They presented the Lorenz Pereira Trophy to St. Anthony's College Candy, judged by an independent panel based on their standard of discipline conducted during the rugby season. The trophy was named after the donor, Lorenz Pereira, who was an outstanding sportsman of yesterday. He was a proud product of Royal College Colombo and excelled in cricket, rugby, athletics and tennis during the 1950s. He was also the first Silanese to captain rugby at CHNFC. And the issue of bad sportsmanship is a universal disease. Judging by the recent disgraceful ball tampering by members of the Australian team. So I believe that words alone are not the answer. And some real action is desperately required. I mean, of course, the hooliganism and uh, I would say poor sportsmanship goes hand in hand the time the man invented the sport. But we should not tolerate, we should not leave room for that in school's playing field. That's where we learn our basics. Gone are the days, if you look back, I'm sure most of gentlemen here who have done really well in sports, who have achieved immense uh, prestige as well as recognition for the alma mater as well as to the nation, would realize, would think and would agree with me that your upbringing here is largely due to the fact that what you learned at school the teachers, the masters, the coaches who did an untiring job passionately, purely for the love of the game as well as for the college. And now it is more professional, more commercial, more competitive, you name it. And, and for some it's win at any cost. And if you just look around, we spend about close to 200 million on schools rugby jointly by the schools. So what do we take in return? Uh, is it the trophy? Is it just the boasting right? Are we producing a champion side? Are we the world beaters? 